welcome back to fast talk channel in this video we will see the salt cutter by me the first fun the first cutter is find maximum and minimum values of list instructions your task is to make two functions max and min or maximum and minimum at c dependent on the language that receive a list of integers as input and returns the largest and the lowest number in that list respectively it's a very simple cutter uh, we have to use uh, mass method min at max and spread operator with uh, list argument let uh, submit let's submit uh, our solution so uh, the next cut uh, is uh, how many stairs will Suzuki climb in 20 years? Instructions Suzuki is a monk who climbs a large staircase to the monastery as a part of ritual. Some days he climbs more stairs than others depending on the number of students he must train in the morning. He's curious how many stairs might be climbed over the next 20 years and has spent a year marking down his daily progress. The sum of all the stairs logged in a year will be used for estimating the number he might climb in 20 years. So 20 year estimate equal 1 year total multiple of 20. You will receive the following data structure representing the stairs Sasaki logged in a year. You will have all data for the entire year, so regardless of how it is logged, the problem should be simple to solve. Make sure your solution takes into account all the nesting within the stairs array. Each weekday in the stairs array is an array. Your function should return the 20 year estimate of the stairs climbed using the formula above. Please also try the other case in this series. So, our solution is uh, also uses uh, spread operator map method reduce method and also reduce method let's attempt solution and let's submit final solution so the next kata is expressions matter task given the three integers a b c returns the largest number obtained after inserting the following operators and brackets plus multiple uh, brackets in other words try every combination of a b c with uh, multiply plus uh, brackets and return the maximum obtained example with the numbers uh, 1 2 and 3 here are some ways of placing scenes in brackets so the maximum value that you can obtain is 9 notes the number are always positive the number are in range you can use the same operation uh, more than once. It is not necessary to place all the scenes in brackets. Repetition in numbers may occur. You cannot swap the operation, the operands. For instance, in the given example, you cannot get expression one plus three in brackets multiple two equal to eight. So I have uh, eight combinations and return the max of its combination. So let us let's let attempt our solution. Let uh, submit our final solution. So the next kata is uh, merge two sorted arrays into one. Instruction: You are given two sorted arrays that both only contain integers. Your task is to find a way to merge them into a single one sorted in a standard order complete the function merge arrays array first array second where array first and array seconds are the original sorted arrays you don't need to worry about validation since array first and array second must be arrays with zero or more integers if both array first and array second are empty then just return an empty array note array first and array second may be sorted in different orders also, array first and array second may have same integers. Remove duplicated in the returned result. 
So our solution uh, also uses a spread operator, also uses a spread operator. I shortened array first and array second to a1 and a2 new. Uh, we have to use set for it and then array method concat to add array second to array first and then uh, I have to sort it array in a standard order with uh, expression a minus a minus b so let's uh, submit uh, let's uh, let uh, train the next kata it is object orient piracy a humanity you are a leader of a small power queue and you have a plan with the help of OOP you wish to make a pretty efficient uh, system to identify ships with a heavy booty on board unfortunately for you people weigh a lot these days so how do you know your ship is full of gold on the, and not people you begin with a writing a generic ship class structure function ship draft crew this draft equal to draft this crew equal to crew every time your spy see a new ship enter the dock you will create a new ship object based in the uh, object based on their observations draft an estimate of the ship's weight based on how low it is in the water and crew is the count of crew on board uh, world titanic equal ship uh, 1510 Taking into account that the average crew member on board adds 1.5 units to the draft, a ship that has a draft of more than 20 without crew is considered worthy to loot. Any ship within that much must have a lot of booty. Add method uh, is worth it to decide if the ship is worth it to loot. For example, Titanic is worth it. Return false. This card teaches you. Uh, the very basic of method creation good luck so we have to add this that method is worse arrow function return crew multiple of 1.5 plus draft should be uh, more than 20 so let's attempt so it's not working Captain, we see some ships. Add equal. It's also not working. let's uh, try the, to delete equal and uh, change plus to minus it's uh, also not working to draft uh, minus crew uh, multiple of 1.5 so we have to change plus to minus it should work let's submit so the next kata is a string repeat write a function that accepts an integer n and a string s as parameters and returns a string of s repeated exactly n times so we have to use a string method to repeat with n times an argument so let's attempt let uh, submit final solution so
So the next kata is holiday six, shark pontoon. The instructions. Your friend invites you out to a cool floating pont pontoon around one kilometer of the beach. Among other things, the pontoon has a huge slide that drops you out right into the ocean, a small way from uh, a set of stairs used to climb out. As you plunge out of the slide into the water, you see a shark hovering in the darkness under the pontoon crab. You need to work out of the shark if, if the shark will get to you before you can get the pontoon. To make it easier as you to do mental calculations in the water, you easily freeze when you realize you are dead, or swim when you realize you can make it. You are given five variables. Uh, shark distance, shark speed, pontoon distance, you speed, a dolphin, uh, the pontoon, you and the shark are all aligned in one dimension. If you make it return alive, if not, return shark bait. So let's test it. Let attempt. It's not working because uh, we don't use dolphin variable let's try to refactor our solution let uh, add uh, and dolphin Dolphin a boolean if true you can halve the swimming speed of the shark as the dolphin will attack it. So we have to uh, multiple multiply s into two uh, with two if uh, dolphin uh, exists. but uh, I try to divide it in with two it's not working so let's uh, let's remove this string it's also not working we don't have s variable Let's uh, let attempt. So let's try equal more than let attempt. It's also not working. So what we can do? We can open this class. But I will try to solve by myself this kata. We can uh, use uh, we can use a sample test. We can duplicate it and uh, add uh, numbers of tests that uh, are not working 
let's uh, add 29, 39, 4 and 6. And true. So we have an example test standard here and let's fix it. The dolphin a boolean if true you can have the swimming speed of the shark as the dolphin will attack it. So let's uh, type dolphin equal to true and if that true and if dolphin exists equal s variable divided by 2 by 2 so let's test it If not, we have to return just S. So it's uh, bullshit. So let's type console.log S uh, H uh, and S. Examples: the first variable h uh, should be less than s uh, and then we alive and vice versa uh, with shark weight but if dolphin exists we can uh, divide the first variable into two or multiply second variable into two So if we divide h variable into two, the first uh, test work. In other words, in other words, passed. So let's add uh, conditional to s variable if dolphin exists equal true when s d s 
multiplier of 2 if not just SD divided by SS all test passed let's submit final solution so the next kata is exclusive or XOR logical operator exclusive or XOR logical operator or you in some scripting languages like PHP there exists a logical operator operator AG and or and or it is called the exclusive or hence the name of this kata the exclusive uh, evaluates two booleans if when returns true if exactly one of the two expressions are true are not true since we cannot define keywords in JavaScript, well, at least I don't know how to do it. Your task is define a function XOR AB where A and B are the two expressions to be evaluated. Your XOR function should have the behavior described above return true if exactly one of the two expressions evaluate to true, false, or otherwise. Let's test final solution. Let's attempt. Let's submit your final cut solution. It was the last cut in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.